Welcome to my YouTube channel Fundamentals of NDT. In this video, we will learn how to properly calibrate an adequate equipment with available surface crack standards and with a 90 degree or L type bend probe. This is also called a surface probe and it is having an absolute coil arrangement. So first, I will try to switch on the machine and this is this button is for the switch on and switch off of the machine. I am pressing it. Now the screen appears. Now you can see this machine is auto detecting the probe with the part number 9403372 with probe serial number S24392. You can clearly see here the probe serial number and part number is clearly written. The probe serial number is S24392 and part number is 9403372. I will just pick up all this thing in front of the, of the camera and you will see the serial number and the part number clearly. You can see here. Okay. Now this machine is having different menus like Null, Erase, Freeze, Gain, Angle, Save. The machine OEM is Olympus. The model is Nortec 600D. And in the right side, it has got all menus for continuing to the next options. For example, if I press A, then this continue options will get activated. I am pressing A now. Now it is showing me an impedance plane. In this impedance plane you can see the frequency, the angle, the gain, the horizontal and vertical gain, everything is everything is now starting uh, has started appearing in the screen. Now this is the null point. Here you can, you, uh, you can say it is an air point and null point. It is, uh, it is now the net available impedance of the coil and you can preset this null point as for your convenience. Now it is right in the center of the machine. You can go to different menus available in the down keys. For example, if I am pressing this main button, then I am going to, this is the filter option, high pass, low pass and and other options like continuous null, I am pressing it off, I am now taking it off. Link, I have not connected any kind of USB link or any data wire to the machine now. Scan RPM is only for when you connected a bolt hole probe or a minimized scanner. Now this is my probe drive, it, I am say, I am fixing, I am setting it in a medium drive. Probe connection is LEMO section, this is called a LEMO, LEMO collection. Lemo cable settings, this whole thing is called a Lemo cable setting. And slide rule is to set the material and the standard depth. Now this is the display. I am pressing a display. The second option is display. Display, now everything start appearing which is coming under the display menu. Like display mode, the channel, position, horizontal position and vertical position. Your horizontal position and vertical positions are 50 50 that's why this point is appearing in the screen now by the option c when i press it when i press the option c i have got this options highlighted in green color the first position is position in center i am changing it it is bottom right now it is bottom center you can see the movement of the null point 
this is top center this is top left this is the custom for the sake of our calibration i am setting the null point to the bottom center and again i am pressing this right button and null button now you can see then the air point or the null point the air point comes down to the bottom center of the screen when i press null and the position is bottom center fixed now i can i will show you this 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 is a aluminium crack specimen this is having three depth one is your 0.5 mm one is your 1 mm and one is a 2 mm these are surface notches you can see these are the surface notches this is 0.5 mm this is 1 mm and this is 2 mm this is 2 mm depth from the surface you can clearly see this is your 0.5 oops my camera is now auto focusing to the screen that's why you are not getting the clear visual this is 1 mm 0.5 mm 1 mm and 2.0 mm depth from the surface this thing is made of aluminum now i will calibrate my probe and the signal with respect to this standard and i will set i will set the reference crack graph or the crack symbol as per this now i have get another standard same made of aluminum but that is 0.2 0.5 and 1 mm and this is 0.5 1 and 2 mm this is 0.2 0.5 and 1 mm i will try to set up i will i will set up with this standard then i will try to catch up this crack now i i have placed the probe on the wooden box and i am pressing it now again i have now i am pressing the probe on the part this is my probe i am getting a lift up signal here this is my first lift up signal when my when i'm touching the probe on the part itself and the area is is a sound part of the part it the area is free for the free of free of any crack now what i will do i will null the initial point by pressing the null button here and the probe on the part itself now everything is not and when the probe is on the the probe is touching the part i'm just putting it now again my first crack second crack and third crack you can see i will freeze this signal so these are my three crack signal coming from this surface not standard now i have got different options to change the angle for that i have to go to the main option i have got this angle i am changing the angle then i will rotate the graph like this so this this i am changing the angle this is my angle changing now i will adjust the gain so that everything will come into the screen come into the visual, come into the screen range i am decreasing the gain this is the gain button either you can change the gain from this menu or there is a hot key over here if you press this gain key it will having it will show in the top left 65 and 65 which is also appearing here if you press this gain again only horizontal gain will be appearing this if you press this gain twice then vertical gain will appear now i am changing this horizontal and vertical gain simultaneously so that i am decreasing it so that everything will come on the screen now as per the rule as per the stm standard 
you have to set the maximum gain or the maximum crack signal which is coming from a 2 mm crack or a 2 mm surface this surface notch the the third signal it loose it, it it should be at least cover three horizontal distance and 90% 8 to 90% of the full screen height so I'm, I'm i will change only the vertical gain over here because my largest crack signal has has already covered the 30% of the linear screen height or horizontal direction i will just change the gain so that my crack signal will at least cross 90% of the screen side and that that is enough you can see this is for 0.5 crack this is for 1 mm crack and this is for 2 mm crack this 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 is from 0.5 this is from 1 mm and this is for 2 mm now what will i do i will save this curve with my reference button when i press this reference button or save it will automatically save now it is saving now everything is now in the memory and i press the memory button you can see the last option 72032 this is this is the options that is getting highlighted over here this is this is uh, 23 may may 27th of may since the date and times are not adjusted so that's why this uh, a different date is appearing over here you can change the you can you know uh, change the date and the time setting from from here whether i want to cross check it whether i have saved it in at the point number 7 or not i will have to review it or recall it i may mean, you know this is not my signal then i'll go then i'll have to go to the another again memory just press the back button i'll have to review the menu from which i have saved it just i will preview it this is i have set it from another uh, graph another calibration method I have to review this here also because no this is not the same I will have to back it ok this is not this is not the signal I have saved it I have saved go to back I have to cross check it okay now this file name is 14003 and I have saved it for this curve for this 3 curve now I have to set reference just put it the save set reference menu D over here now it is set reference or unfreeze that is set referenced all it button is pressed now we just unfreeze this signal now the car which these three graphs are already been set as referenced referenced graph for these three signals for these three crack signals now what we will do i will try to catch up three now these three cracks with by comparing the depth by comparing the crack signal from this standard so what I will have to do, I will press the null button again. Now it is coming to this bottom center. I am putting the group, putting the part over here. Now see, everything is now appearing in a green line. 
now these are my reference signal and these are my current signal i will again null it here now i will try to catch find these three cracks first crack second crack and third crack you can see how clearly these three cracks are identified with respect to the earlier set reference graph and freeze it and this white color graphs are the reference curve which is obtained by which is obtained from the crack of this specimen and these are the current green color graphs green color curves which are which are being obtained by when i scan when i scan this 0.2 0.5 and 1 mm depth crack Thank you for watching my video. For more videos on eddy current testing and advanced NDT, keep subscribing my channel Fundamentals of NDT. Thank you.